everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Christmas decor, so mainly the tree, a Christmas decor haul. Um, I've got things from B&M and from Poundland and a little something from Primark. So I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you like what I've picked out for my tree. I do the same sort of um, tree design every single year I have done for the last two or three years. So it's still the same theme, but I just pick up extra bits every year, which I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my old Christmas tree decorations, the ones that I actually still use, but they're old as in I've already got them. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a haul and show you what I've got that can go on my tree. So if you do like this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you are notified when I next upload a video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the Christmas decor haul. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with B&M. So in B&M, I picked up these um, lovely flowers, and they've got a little clip to them. They were £2.99, and you get two in there, and they're really big. If you notice, one's like as big as my head. Um, so yeah, I picked those up because I do like to put a few flowers in as well as what else. I'm about to show you what I normally put in my tree. Um, so I picked some of these up. I always pick extra things like this up, but they're just really pretty on the tree. And these are in white. They did have them in silver. And I think they had them in red, but I know they definitely had them in silver. Um, and I'm sure gold as well. They probably have all the colours, um, but I wanted white. So my tree theme is usually silver and white with a dash of blush pink. So that's my white flowers so i got those i then saw these which i do love to buy more bubbles every single year um and these are the ones that i found which were a really good price um and i like the big ones as well so i like to pick these up every year just to add to my collection to fill out the tree more so i got these bubbles here they were two pounds 99 and i'll try and show you you've got that design and then you've got this design, so very glittery. I like glitter and silver and all of that, and this sort of disco -y design. Those were £2.99 for a pack of six. They had so many, they had them in red, they had all different colours, they had pink ones as well. Um, but I didn't pick any more pink up this time because I couldn't find any, so I'm a bit late on shopping for bubbles, I think. Um, so I picked these ones up, which were £2.99. I then went on to pick up some more of those, but not the exact same design. So I got this design, which are absolutely Absolutely gorgeous so these have got more white in them and they're like see-through so you've got that top one there which is absolutely beautiful and then you've got this one which is like I can't expect it's like that um mercury I had to wait how do you explain it it's like a really nice speckled it's really nice anyway in silver and then I've got these ones here which I absolutely was sold on these were what I really wanted out of all of them and they've got the little diamantes bit at the top and they're just clear and I just think they're absolutely stunning and they're really really good sizing so I like how big they are and for 2 dollars for a pack of six I couldn't resist so I had to pick those up and the next thing that I picked up I've already got loads of these for my Christmas tree but sometimes they break every year and I just like to have more and also I like to add more to my tree because I absolutely love this is my main feature of my Christmas tree every single year and it is the bows so I have bows I have a bow topper and then I have bows dashed around at the front um coming down and these are in white and that's generally what I do they're like a they're like a glittery got a glittery effect um so I picked some more of these up they were £2.49 for a pack of three and they did them in all different colours, but my design is generally white, like I like white and silver. That's my general design when I do my Christmas tree. And I've always, for the last few years, I've done bows on my trees. So I'm not a classic star gal, or I'm not a classic um, just bowls. I'm quite out there. I do like my tree to look a little bit extra. Hi, Tinkerbell. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, sorry, Papa. I hit it by accident. Um, so you want to join in on the video? Do you want to join in on the video? No, no, it's not about you today. So I picked these bows up, which I absolutely love. Um, and these are the hanging hanging ones in particular. I do prefer the ones that have the clips because they clip on really like easily, but you can just get clips and clip them yourself. Um, so yeah, picked some of these up and it'll go nice with my white big bow that I put at the top, not a star. That's what I am, that's the type of person I am. Uh, are you right there, Tinkerbell? Are you right there? 
I've noticed as well, every time I video and Tinkerbell's on the video, she's always itching. She hasn't got fleas, just to let you know. Um, she's got a skin condition, so she's on medication for that, which is unfortunate. Um, but she's got a, quite an itchy skin, so that's why she's... Just to clear that up for anyone who doesn't already know. Um, so, yeah, I picked those up. Staying with B&M, I then picked up some more bobbles. What a surprise. Um, these ones were beautiful, and they were more white, so I love a bit of white on my tree. My tree is actually a snowy tree. Um, it's got loads of snow already, already on it. So, which you will see eventually, it's just I am looking at moving, so I'm not going to put my Christmas tree up, obviously, until I've moved. It'll be the first thing that goes up and gets unboxed. Don't you worry about that. But I'll probably next year be able to do more of a look at my Christmas tree early on. Because I normally put my Christmas tree up two weeks into November. And I'm really upset that I haven't been able to do it this year. Um, but anyway, I've got these bubbles, which are again £2.99. And you've got that one there, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got like the swirly silver and white one, which is beautiful as well. And this one's really stunning, that design. I absolutely love that. So I had to pick them up, £2.99, so I think I've got enough bubbles. <laughs> and bearing in mind I've got a load of, from my previous years, it's just every year, I don't know if you're the same as me, but every year when I put my Christmas tree up, I don't seem to have enough. My Christmas tree is seven foot, so it's so it just needs more filling and more filling. And when I put my Christmas tree up, I can't really be bothered to go and buy no more, like new ones. So I generally think next year I'll just buy some more, so I've always got enough. So I picked these up, which were absolutely stunning. Also in B&M this year, I've picked up these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I'm not quite sure if I've got enough to, for the look that I want to go for, but it's fine. They were £5 each, so to be fair, I didn't really want to spend too much money on them. Um, but it's just these LED lights, and they're the February ones. So if I put them on, you can see how gorgeous are they and how stunning they look on the tree. Um, so, yeah, I picked those up, and it's £5, and you get you get... 205 centimetres worth. So I picked up two of these um, and in hopes that it will be enough for my tree. Because obviously I've got loads of lights already for my tree. Like I put loads of lights on. These are just really for decoration in the February side of it. And I thought they were very different. I do already have feather boas that go on my tree too. But I thought these would just add to it a little bit more. And they'll just poke out a little bit more, which I really like. So that is my LED lights, the February ones. Oh, can't see that there. Um, but yeah, they are beautiful. Look at them, how stunning they are. And they were £5 for a pack. And also, these don't have to just be for Christmas because they wasn't in the Christmas section. Um, these could be for home. So you could put them in lovely in a bedroom or just displayed somewhere. They look absolutely stunning. Um, and probably well, that's what I'm probably going to do with them. I'll probably use them for my Christmas tree and then I would use them all year round in other places like maybe my daughter's room or something like that. So a really good investment. I like those. I totally forgot about these. I picked these up in silver. So I picked the bows up again in silver, the silver glittery. Um, I reason why I did this, because normally I just have white bows, but I just thought I might change it up this year and have silver and white. We'll see how it goes, because I might not like the look and I might just not have them. Um, but I do already have bows, like I've told you before. They're white ones. Um, I think I actually have pink ones as well, to be honest. I think I've dashed the pink. But I've probably got far too many bows. But I just thought, because I forget how many, I forget what my tree looked like, if you like, every year. So I kind of just think, oh, I'll just grab it in case, because I regret it if I've wanted more. Um, so these were £2.49 as well, and they were in the silver. And look how glittery they are. How gorgeous are they? Um, so I just really like the silver, and I just thought I could dot the silver ones around in between the white and things like that. And don't worry, it's not going to look tacky. It looks really, really nice. Um, so yeah, bows are my theme for my Christmas tree. So I've let the secret out. That's my secret. Bows. I love a bow. Then what I picked up were these. I've been wanting these since last year, and I never picked any up last year. And they're one pound ninety nine. And I'm just going to put these. I actually originally wanted these for my doors, which I might still do, but I actually quite like the idea of these going on the Christmas tree. Um, so I picked some of these up. And again, I told you, I think I told you, it's £1.99. And they're just little bells. And it's just absolutely stunning. I just thought, how nice is that for £2, under £2? How stunning is that going to look? Um, but if it doesn't look right on the Christmas tree, then I will put it on the door. So I absolutely love that. I then picked up some more little bells. Obviously, these ones don't ring, but these are just for the Christmas tree. Um, if you can try and get me out of it. Um, so really, really stunning. Got the glitter around them and the little bits here. I absolutely love these. And I've got two of these. Um, with it. It's got like a little bow effect sort of thing. Look, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, so they'll just be another addition to my Christmas tree. And they were £1.49 each. So another great addition to my Christmas tree. So I don't know if you can see them because I don't know if it's showing. But how stunning are they? They're just beautiful. So yeah, another little addition to the tree. Okay, so now moving on to Poundland, I just got a few things from my Christmas tree from Poundland. 
And the first thing that I picked up, um, the first ones that I picked up, I picked up two of these and I just thought they might look tacky, but they're actually really cute. And it really goes with my Christmas theme and it's just a novelty thing, but they are in my design as well for my theme. So you've got the glittery silver and then the little feather bow around a little duck with a little crown. I just thought that's absolutely adorable. Um, look, how gorgeous would that look on the tree? It's novelty, but not tacky novelty in my eyes. I think that just would look set my tree off, just having a few of these around. Um, it would just be absolutely cute. Um, so I've got those, I've got two of those ones. And then also in Poundland, I've then got this, um, these reindeers, and they're silver, and they are absolutely stunning. They're like a mirrored silver. They are so, so stunning. Um, so I picked up, I picked up two of these again so these will be a nice addition again they're only a pound so just little additions to my tree and they're actually quite heavy really they're not like too plasticky if that makes any sense like i really like them so i've got two reindeers and the last thing that i picked up this year for my tree it's for the bottom of my tree and i picked this up in primark i've already got one of these that goes under my tree but i remember last year that i really wanted another one and i never just i could never find another one at a good price anyway because it's only for around the under of the tree i don't like to spend too much so it's another one of these fur rugs. So they're actually froze. I think they're, they're, let me see. Yeah, they're called froze, but to me they're actually in the design. Let me try and get the picture of it without it being washed out. Um, so it's just a fluffy rug, and it's really, really good sizing. I've already got one of these, um, but this here was ten pounds. So it says fro, but it, honestly, it's a rug. Like you can tell, it's a rug. It goes down in the same shape as the sheepskin rug. Um, obviously it's not real sheepskin um, but yeah not that I'd want it to be um, but anyway this is just going to go around the bottom of my tree just to make it look really nice and snowy I've already got one like I said but it wasn't enough last year so I ended up using the fake felt um, snow thing to make a blanket and um, to make it a little bit more and then put the faux fur faux fur faux fur faux fur faux 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 around the top the, the beginning of it no, the front of it, that's it. I can't get my words out. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, so now I've got two of these. So that should be perfect now to go around. And the reason I've got them, the rugs, because you can obviously get these already made for around the tree. But when I've seen people's pictures of them, you know, when they're cut out and they're around thing, they look quite flat and they don't look as fluffy. But I like, I prefer to make my own, if you like, by putting these around them. It just look a little bit more fluffy um, than getting them like that. So yeah, I picked that up from Primark. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm glad they had them in stock. Because um, so I was a bit worried because obviously it's late in the day now. Um, so I picked that up from Primark. And obviously if you haven't already seen my video from yesterday where I went to Primark, that is where when I got it. I got it yesterday. So yeah, that, everything I picked up this year that's new for my Christmas tree and decorations. Um, I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you, It gives you a little idea of things and what the shops have kind of got and if you're going with the same theme I'm going for. If it's given you any inspiration, that would be amazing. I'm so happy if it has. If you did like this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you're notified when I next upload a video. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.